The question is, what is the most effective way to get my message across and have the people pay attention and let me see that I want to serve them? I'm going to answer you with saying less is more and or is it really now i want you to think about that a lot of times when we are trying to let people know about our business or our service we give way too much information and the whole idea about that is that you would give less information and you want to keep their attention, you want to put them into what the product or service can do for them, how it can help them reach their dreams or their goals, whatever it is that they want to accomplish with that. Plugging into that, listening to what they are saying, as one of my friends say, ask the question, shut up and listen. Don't think about the next question you're going to ask or your response. Listen and then respond back. And then you can serve their needs. So why is less more? Day. and so less is more and why is less more okay so when we talk to people in person on the phone via text even um, or we do a presentation or we create a presentation to tell somebody about our business or our product or our service um, how much information are you giving that person now I want you to put you in this very simple position and think about if you go into Costco and you go and um, and you go and buy a TV, for example, and you're not sure what brand, what size, what is the person going to ask you? What do you want to do? A good salesperson will ask you, "What are you going to do with the TV? Uh, what do you want to watch? Movies, sports, whatever. How big is the room that you're in? Um, what do you expect out of the longevity of it, perhaps?" And they're going to fit the size of the TV to the size of the room and ask you how far back you can sit. A good person will find out those and find out why you are, wh why you are doing it and what it will give you. And they would need to know, is it, are you going to play a lot of games on it? Um, do you need Wi-Fi with it? Um, is it going to be using cable, satellite, um, or, it, or is it just going to play DVDs? What is the need? I'm just mentioning a bunch of things here. I don't know all the questions to ask, but that's what they're going to ask. And based on that, they're going to make a recommendation. Now, the, the, the salesmen lose me when they tell me about all the features on there that I am never going to use. You know, they might point out a few key things and it's, probably, it's important to know why this TV costs more than the other one. But to go into a lot of detail with that, because if I'm interested, that's when I can go and ask, do I need that? Why so? Why this? Why that? How come this? You know, ask all the different questions with it. So when you are making a presentation, you telling somebody about your business or your service, the most important thing first is to put them in touch with the goals or the dreams and find out why your product or service could be beneficial to them. And if it is, if it seems like it, you can, you can ask a few more specific questions so you can give a recommendation. And when you give that recommendation, they will come and they will ask you more questions. You don't have to have a very long story and tell people all kinds of things about how fantastic your compensation. Now, I'm totally on network marketing. How fantastic is your compensation plan? Yeah, we all do have compensation plans. And you might say we have one of the best ones out there. Um, but here's the thing, what, what our company does is we do this and we do that. That's the product and the service we sell and this is what it does for people, very briefly. And then the big goal is, is why are you curious about starting a home business or why are you curious about doing another home business and, and what will that give you and put them in touch. If you make more money, will it help you to quit your job? Will it help you make your wife come home and stay with the kids when they're little? Will it help you to pay for college? Whatever it is, and focus on their wants and their needs, how the product or service can help them get there, 
and don't make a long story. Be short, be succinct. I'm, I'm very guilty of that. A lot of those of you used to work with me in the past know that I have way too much of a story. And I wanted to because I love that and still love what I do. I wanted to share with people. But sometimes too much is too much. Too much information is too much and less is more. More important to focus on their needs, their wants, and the basics of what the product and service can do. And the only way you're gonna find that out really is to listen. Now, of course, when you create a presentation to show um, over YouTube to send to someone, you're still going to focus on the average wants and needs of people, what this business can do for people. What When you are talking to someone in person, ask the questions. You're a professional question asker and listen. And listen to see what you can do. And keep it short, keep it succinct, and you will get people's attention. They can ask more questions. I've said that a million times. I will say it again. Here is the thing, guys. Today, we live in an ADD type society. We have so much distraction. We have TV, we have radio, we have, we have uh, our phones. People are on their phones all the time from Snapchat to Facebook to Twitter to all kinds of things they watch to games. Uh, people don't have a long attention span anymore. So to get people's attention, be short, be succinct, have a strong message, put them in the picture, focus on their needs, their wants, and then give them advice. If they need more, they can ask more, and then you can dig in deeper, still keep it short and succinct, let them ask more questions. That is the way you will get people and not bore them to death. If I'm sending somebody a 30 or 40 minute presentation about my company, oh geez, I don't have 30 or 40 minutes, right? People would say. And why go into all the details on the compensation plan and all of that? Just first get them connected with a short three, four, five, maybe 10 minute video or audio about what you are doing, what your company is doing, what the product and service is, and how that changes the world and how that can change that person's life if they join the business. Then after that, they can watch a video about the compensation plan, about the product details, about the details of the service. So remember, keep it short, keep it sweet, be succinct in what you're saying. Less is more, and in most cases now, less is always more. Let me know um, how this helped you and change things for you. Uh, oh, and hey, while, while, while we are here, make sure that you go and connect down, down below on Facebook, on, on Twitter, just simply go to my website, rugbydo.com, go to the free tab, scroll down to number three, and grab my free video book, How to Craft Unstoppable Growth and Contribution in Your Life. I talk a little bit about this, but I also talk about connecting yourself and others with your vision and how to help others find a vision. And you will see when you listen to that, how that's so important to connect people to their ultimate goal and outcome and not so much focus on your commission or your product or your service or how many you can sell, but focusing on serving the need of your clients, which as I said a couple days ago, is the most important person in your business. So take care guys, God bless you and aloha.